Morning guys and girls. I'm just getting ready to hit the gym. Today is shoulders. Shoulders and triceps. I still need to do a video just talking about my current split and how my diet is running at the moment. Um, I will get it done. It's just been a little bit busy. But um, I'm just about to have my pre-workout. I've had my pre-workout meal, now it's time for my pre-workout shake. And I completely forgot that I have um, this. Don't know how I forgot. But yeah, completely forgot I've got this bark powders and this is a cherry cola flavor. I've still got two things of freaking, um Bark powders. Bark powders elevate. Just hiding in the back of my supplement cupboard. Yeah, this cherry cola one. So nice. So nice tasting. I think it's one level scoop. Yeah, one scoop is. 250 milligrams of caffeine, so I'll probably do one and a half. I'm feeling good today. Training a little bit earlier than um, usual. Um, because I have my one of my clients straight after. Yeah, shoulder day. There's a little bit of a targo in there as well. Get the energy up. So I'm gonna drink this and I'll see you guys in the car or at the gym. Peace. going on guys just finished a wicked wicked sold sh soldier shoulder session I had to do um, I came at 11 o'clock and a little bit later than I wanted I wanted to get here for like 10 30 so which would have given me an hour and a half before my client came in but got here at 11 so I did as much as I could which is what you've seen in the clip so apart from I didn't show all the exercises that I did um, a couple of the rear dart ones I really wanted to figure out the movement patterns before I show you guys um, and then trained my client did a little bit of triceps during her session and I was like I still got more that elevate that bulk powders elevate just gave me some clean consistent energy and I was like come on let's go again so just finished another hour 
Um, did a little bit of traps as well. Did more on triceps. But yeah, rear delts. I feel like that I'm getting a real um, mind muscle connection uh, with the rear delts. So when I'm figuring out movement patterns, I'm feeling it almost straight away. So I'm I'm, I'm going to share it with you in the Boulder Shoulder series as soon as my cameraman is a bit more freed up with time. We're going to get that cracking. Um. Yeah, good session. Right now, I'm just having my post-workout shake, which this is two scoops of Hypergrow by Isatori. <sighs> Got a scoop of creatine and a scoop of um, glutamine as well. Then when I get home, I'm gonna have a carb, carb-based meal. And then protein and fats for the rest of the night. I'm gonna show you a couple of the meals because I think they're pretty epic, if I do say so myself. A couple of the keto guys might might like some of these as well so yeah anyway i will see you guys at home and i will talk about my split which i said i was going to do in a different video but i'll do it in this one i'll talk about my split and um my current diet approach so i'll catch you guys in a little bit peace all right guys so i am back home now um just had a quick shower and heading over to my parents house because need to go and talk business i'm heading up a family business so i need to talk finer details but let me show you all what i'm wearing i've got the red and white combo on it looks serious the red and white machine combo the intensity t-shirt tapered bottoms and the snapback yeah feeling fresh feeling fresh Baby blue used to be my favorite color and I'm not sure whether that's because there was an artist, music artist at the time, a garage artist who always wore baby blue and I think I was trying to be like him when I was younger. So yeah, I think that's where that came from but I'm loving red at the moment, loving red, especially the red and white. Anywho, heading over to my parents house so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so I'm back at home. Just um, cooking up a batch of banana pancakes for Naisha. And I have made myself this wonderful meal. So these are pancakes made from almonds and then bacon with then some Walden Farm pancake syrup. Mm -mm -mm. Tastes good as hell. Oh, tastes so so good. Oh, and then I'll put um, a layer of peanut butter in between each pancake. So perfect for keto. Any of you guys on keto? So, like I said, I'm keeping it uh, low carb, high protein, high fats. All other times apart from before and after my workout, where I'll bring in the carbs and then keep it low fat. So yeah, there you have it. Lovely tasting meal. Give you some ideas for you guys on keto. But, um, just get ready to upload a video, it's exporting now. So that will be up. Um, it's basically on my hamstring workout and a couple other things. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. And I'll catch you guys in a bit because I'm hungry. Taste test. Tastes so good. Mm. What's happening, everybody? All right, so as you see, it's Wednesday, um, and today was hamstrings again, and I thought I'd use this opportunity whilst you're seeing these great bits of footage to explain my split in a bit more detail. The last video, I didn't really explain it in that much detail and that's because it changed a little bit so I used the first week to kind of gauge how everything runs and you know tweak things a little bit so now I've tweaked it I have 
um, chest, sorry, hamstrings and calves on Monday. On Tuesdays it is chest. On Wednesdays it is shoulders and triceps. Then on Thursday it is hamstrings again. Then Friday is chest and yeah, just chest. And then Saturday is back and biceps. So that's how I'm running it at the moment. It's kind of focusing on my weaker points. As you might have, as you would have heard in previous video, um, I can't actually squat properly at the moment because my patella tendon has flared up uh, once again. So I've been doing a lot of hamstrings and hamstrings have been an area I need to bring up anyway. So it's, it's kind of all worked out, but I'm feeling good, I'm feeling big. Um, in my next video, I'm going to do my weigh-in, uh, see exactly how much I'm weighing now, um, see what my condition is looking like now, I'll show you guys what my condition is looking like now um, at the weight that I'm at currently. Um, but so far, so good. The bulk is going quite well, steadily going up. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked it, so don't forget to subscribe comment like and share and i'll catch you guys in the next video catch you later remember to always be true no matter what you do i never front it i got my whole cool life on it man